Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to implement search functionality in Laravel, starting from simple keyword search to filtering by relationship like categories. We'll use a Laravel app with Vue 3 and Inertia.js on the front end, but don't worry, the core search logic applies to any Laravel app whether you're using Blade, REST API, or Livewire. We'll even debug a tricky issue with Orwell logic that can easily lead to incorrect results and how to fix it using proper grouping. Let's start with the basic. We already have a Laravel project with product and category model. The relationship is one to many. A category can have many products. Our goal is to let user search for products by name or description and filter them by category ID. Let's begin with a simple search, finding products by name or description. Here we use the when method to conditionally apply filters or query in the second argument only when the first argument evaluates true. This helps keep our queries clean and readable. We search the product by name or by description. Now if I visit products name, for example, DES, I get six results. Your result may vary depending on your data. And here's the SQL generated by Laravel. At this point, the search works as expected. Now, let's make it more advanced by adding a filter by category name. Let's add another when method. Check if the request query has category. Then add a callback. To search by relationship, we use the where has method, specify the relationship name in the first argument and a callback in the second argument. In this case, we'll search the category name by given value. Let's add in the query string category, for example, Q. UI Here I get four results but something feels off One product doesn't even have the given category It doesn't have the given name whether in the name or in description. If we inspect the query, see the problem? The logic is incorrect. It's evaluating like this, false and false or true, which result true. But what we really want is false and false or true, which will result false. To fix this, we need to group the where and or where inside a single callback, like so. Now the query is clean and behaves correctly. Now, if you want to filter categories by ID instead of name, you can do like this. Or if you want to support multiple category IDs, you can use where in and the category should be an array.
For now, I stick with single category ID. Now, let's build the front end using view and inertia. First, in the controller, we pass all query parameter to the front end. In the index component, let's define a new prop called query. It's going to be object and give it a default value, category and name. Then we need to define a reactive variable, for example, search query. We use view reactive, reactive function with some initial values. Then we define a function, for example, handle search. Inside a function, we call inertia router visit, specify the URL. When it is specify an object contain data, the value is taken from such query. Now in the template, we can add an input search. Bind the search query name using vmodel. And then call handle search function for a key down event. You may also add a category filter, import the CLA component, and then add it in the template. For simplicity, I use static select item, but of course you can use categories from your database. We bind the search query category using vmodel directive and then call hello search function through update model value now if i change the category the data changes accordingly To recap, today we built a powerful search feature that supports simple search, relationship filtering, and dynamic front-end integration. We use Vue 3 and Inertia in this demo, but remember, the backend logic works the same no matter what stack you're using. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other Laravel topics you'd like to explore.